And now it is time to check back in with Angela Kelly. Yeah, she's live at the Shano Dam for the annual sturgeon spawn. Hi, Ange. Hi, good morning, Pete and Rachel. I want you to take a look. Um, we're right along um, the, the banks of the Wolf River here at the Shano Dam. If you look closely, you might see some fins sort of popping up out of the water. Those are those big sturgeon fish that have come here to spawn. Now this means it's a really busy time of year for the DNR. So this is sturgeon biologist Ryan Koenigs. And Ryan, what is it that you guys need to do when you visit these spawning sites? Well, we're at these spawning sites and we're trying to capture and mark as many fish as we can. And the mark data in combination with data we collect during the spear fishery in February, we use those data to estimate how many fish are in the population. And those population estimates are then used to set the effective harvest caps for that spear fishery. So oh. it's a really important time of the year for us to be able to capture and mark these fish. Absolutely. So let's give everyone a little bit of a demonstration of what you guys are doing at these sites. So we'll start down here. These yep. guys are doing what? Uh, we usually have two, two what we call dippers in the water, and they use these large dip nets to work together to capture the fish. Okay. What kind of fish do we have here? Is this like fe male, female? I haven't seen yet, but more than likely, based on the size and kind of the shape, I would say it's a male. And by the way... And the temperament. Usually the males are a little bit meaner when they get out of the water, like this one, for example. <laughs> Great. And, I'm, and now I get to help uh, handle it here. You can, you can take the tail. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try Ooh. to... We're going to try to get a length from the fish. Okay. We kind of got to wait till they hold still more because otherwise we won't be able to get a good length on them. Okay. So we'll get his belly up there. So I'm good here. The okay. head's tight. And then I'm going to fold the tail down. And what are, what are we measuring? Right to the nearest tenth of an inch there. So we got 61.1. 61.1. We're going to record that. What's next? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our what's called a pit tag reader and we're going to scan the fish to see if we've pit tagged this fish in the past. Okay. And what a pit tag is, see this, it beeps, so this fish already has been tagged in the past by us. Here's the number. So a pit tag is a little chip that we've been using since 1999 to mark sturgeon, and we inject that tag right underneath the head of the fish here. Incredible. And it's almost 100% retention on these tags. Uh, it's the same type of tag that people are now using to mark their cats and dogs. And each tag has a unique 10-digit number that mm -hmm. so serves as like a social security number for that fish and it'll stay with it for the rest of its life. That's really cool. So this fish has already been tagged. Uh, if it wouldn't have had a tag, we would have injected a tag. In. And then the last thing we'll do is we'll see if it's a male or a female. Okay. So and we just her look over. at... <gasps> okay. So based on the belly, I would say that this is a male. Male. Okay. And yep, it's a male. Got it. So now we got to get him back in the water so yep. he can do his thing, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> so we're just going to kind of... Hit the legs. a little party shot there. <laughs> very, very cool. And uh, this is also a great opportunity for you to come out and watch this. So you want to come out to the Shano Dam maybe through what, Friday, Saturday? Yeah, I think peak spawning will be this afternoon, tomorrow, uh, wrapping up on Friday. And mm -hmm. there'll still be some fish here maybe Saturday morning. But you really want to see the big show at Shano Dam probably come in the next couple of days. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Back to you guys. Busy out there already. A lot of looky-loos. Yeah. Thanks, Ange. Thanks, Ange.